Hey everyone, it's Derek with OPTP, and this week for our countdown to spring, we're gonna look at some myofascial release techniques or trigger point release techniques for some common ailments that often pop up as we're getting more active or as we're entering into a new activity. Now we're gonna look at uh, three different release techniques using three different tools, again, for common ailments that we all probably experienced at one point or another. Let's get started. Okay, for this first myofascial release technique, we're gonna aim to decrease some of the tension and tightness that's associated with shin splints. So I've got my ProPod here. This is a wonderful release tool, especially for this type of release technique. And I'm in this kneeling position. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work all along the anterior compartment of the lower half of the leg here. I'm gonna take a ProPod, uh, compress it into the kind of lateral front aspect of the leg somewhere below the knee, depending on where you're experiencing that tension and tightness. I'm gonna take the free hand and just make like I'm pushing it into the pro pod. So I'm essentially creating compression, right? And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compress and hold. If I'm not experiencing too much tension or tightness there, I can work down the leg or up the leg. One of my favorite things to do is just to kind of start gentle and just massage all the way down. Again, you can orient the pro pod at different angles, but really compress all the way down towards the ankle and then work your way back up. If you experience any tension and tightness in specific areas, you can revisit those areas and hold that compression. Then we can switch hands and of course do the other side of the leg there. And again, you can go across the lateral aspect, getting towards the front here, really working along that entire anterior compartment. But this is a great release technique for shin splints with the pro pod. Give it a try. Okay, so the upper back is another area where a lot of us experience tension and tightness after getting into a new activity or going from inactive to active. So I've got my pro point here. I'm gonna show you a wonderful kind of general scapular release technique. And the pro point is great because it's smaller in nature and it allows you to get into these more sort of specific areas, these smaller areas of the body a little bit better than you would with a larger release tool like a foam roller. So I've got my pro point here. I'm gonna position it behind my body. Might have to move it around a little bit, but the idea is to slowly let your body come down, keeping uh, engagement of the abdomen because we, we don't just wanna fall onto the pro point, right? That wouldn't feel too good. As we find that tight spot and ease into the release, then I'm slowly going to let the head come back and let the abdomen relax as I melt into that pro point. The idea here would be to hold it for about 30 seconds. And then what I can do uh, is make it a little bit more active by sort of just retracting and protracting here. Now this is a little bit advanced, so you might not wanna start with this as we work through mobilizing that area, but we can slightly kind of pull the shoulder blades together and then bring them apart. Another thing that I like to do is let the arm fall in and then back out. As you can imagine, this is great for anyone who's involved in a sport where we would be swinging or throwing any type of overhead movement. So this can apply to a lots of people. Definitely give it a try. Okay, and last, the hands and wrists and forearms are another area where we can experience a lot of tension and tightness if these areas are deconditioned moving into our springtime activities. So think of golf, tennis, baseball, or even gardening, shoveling, raking, all these things require grip strength. So we're gonna look at using our mini and maxi balls here to just go some, through some general release techniques that will help uh, alleviate tension and tightness in that whole area of the body. So I'm gonna start with the mini ball here, and all I'm gonna do is position it uh, in the palm of one hand and just compress and roll. This is a great place to start. You can get really creative with a lot of these techniques. And really a lot of people like to just focus on the specific areas that are bothering them. And if you are doing that, make sure you ease into it and be gentle uh, initially. But the palm is a great place to start here as I compress and roll. Then I like to visit the base of the fingers as I roll across that region. Again, if I have one area that's particularly tight or tense, I can stop there and compress for a little longer. The base of the thumb is another great area to visit with the smaller mini ball. And then the outer aspect of the hand as well, uh, the lateral aspect beneath the pinky and uh, above the wrist is another great spot to spend some time. So the mini ball is great for that. It's got a wonderful texture, uh, wonderful density to help release those muscles. Now uh, I'm gonna look at releasing some areas 
uh, near the forearms here with the maxi ball. And all we're gonna do here is take the ball and sort of find that region that's tight or tense and compress and roll again. And we can even just go up and down here along the top, bottom, and lateral aspects. Um, here you're gonna wanna be careful though. Obviously there are a lot of nerves that run through here. So be gentle, be kind, find those spots, but don't press too hard here as we roll up and down the forearm. If you wanna get a little bit more dynamic with this one, you can sort of make a fist and flex and extend as you're compressing that ball into a trigger point or an area that's specifically uh, tight or tense. So these are all great ideas to help alleviate some of the tension and tightness that results from uh, having to grip for an extended period of time. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Now, for more spring training ideas and to learn more about all the products that we have that can help you alleviate tension and tightness, build mobility, flexibility, balance, strength, and more, just go to optp.com. Thanks.